to Numato Labs Keycard Tutorial Part 9. In the previous video, we learned how to export netlist from a schematic sheet and how to assign modules to each component. Today, we are going to learn how to import the netlist and module assignment file to PCB New, which is the layout editor software. To open PCB New, go to the main menu and click PCB new icon. A new window with an empty sheet will pop up. Now we can import the netlist. To import the netlist, go to the main menu and click on read netlist icon. Another window will pop up and leave all the settings to its defaults and click on read current netlist button. As you can see here in the messages window, the netlist is loaded along with the module assignment file. Now we can close this window and go back to PCB new. As you can see here, all the modules are now available in PCB new. If you take a closer look at it, all the components or all the modules are sitting on top of each other. If you have 100 modules, it's going to be very hard to uh, find each component and move them around. To make that a little easier, Go to the main toolbar and click on the global move icon. Come back to the sheet, right click, go to the global move and place menu and select move all modules submenu and click yes. As you can see here now, all the modules are moved into the sheet and they are placed side by side. Now it is much easier to find and select the modules that you want and move them around and place them. To move a module, Place the mouse pointer on top of that module and press the shortcut key M. Now you can move the module around. To rotate the module, press the shortcut key R. As you can see here, with each press of the shortcut key R, the module rotates by 90 degrees. So let's go ahead and move these components, place them appropriately uh, so that we can start routing uh, tracks between these modules. You can uh, unclutter the text by going to the render tab and unselecting the values checkbox. Okay, now that we have the components placed, let's see how to route tracks between these components. To do that, go to the menu on the right side and click add tracks and wires. Now this PCB by default has two copper layers, the front and the back. Now we need to select what layer we want to lay the copper track on. I'm going to select top and you can select the track width here. At this time, there's only one value available, eight mils, but you can add more different widths and we will discuss how to do that in a different video. So to start a track, left click at the beginning of the net and simply move the mouse pointer and you can see the track will follow the mouse pointer. To change direction, do a left click. To end the track, do a double click. To add a border to the PCB, select Add Graphic Line or Polygon icon from the toolbar on the right side and select PCB Edges layer and draw a rectangle. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.